be the Tuatic. Woo! Yes. You know what? We have got an awesome video. Now, if you're going to click off because you're going to be like, SK, Channel Lock, CP, I've seen this crap. What's, you know, what, what, what are you going to show us here that we haven't seen? Well, So to start off here, I want to say that, uh, uh, you know, I make content and it's, it, it can be criticized. Okay. But I can also, uh, return the favor with proper information. Um, you know, channel lock has been around for a long time, 1880, 80 something, 83. I'll put a, I'll put a thing up in there. Uh, I've talked about this before. I picked up some stuff and I got to tell you. Just like everything in the world, not everything is as it seems. As false as somebody's, some people's narratives are, uh, you know, there's some things that even Channel Lock doesn't make. And we'll start right off. And I, and I actually honestly de debated. I honestly debated. These are made in the USA. I honestly debated on showing these because I was absolutely disappointed. These are... They might have their place, and I'm hoping somebody can help me in the comment box uh, redeem some sort of uh, some sort of hope for these. But these are the GL. What are these? GL somethings? Uh, not not real accurate. GLS three. I gotta tell you, I'm super. I've been super busy, and and I'm. I apologize. This video might be a little bit all over the place because my uh, got a lot going on. I have a lot going on. I have a lot of irons in the fire. But uh, the GL3 set, the channel lock, the GL12, 12-inch 12 plier, and I got these thinking, you know what, these are kind of a difference to Nipex, and I'm not even going to go into, uh, I'm not even going to go into the fact that these are even close to being Nipex. The one thing that I do, do notice right off the bat is just the offset bite, what I didn't like about them, uh, didn't seem uh, that great, but they don't have the follow-through on this. And I'm not going to go over this real crazy because I, I, I obviously need to use them but uh, a little more. But I, I honestly feel like just the, just the overall function of these things, uh, it seems like they, 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 missed, a, they missed a boat. Uh, very, little, very little engagement there onto what I would consider a normal style locking plier or channel lock plier. You know, there should have been, I feel like there should have been that. And, and obviously it would have hindered how the movement was. And I'm sure the design, in theory, they were in the right track trying to replace or trying to create a USA version of a Knipex. But uh, I think they missed the boat. And I, do, I just don't feel like these pliers uh, are all, now they're dirt cheap, I will say this. As far as getting a deep, decent price, and they do grip. And I did notice that once you move them off to a position, they start to center up a little better. Well, let me see if I can let me see if I can get it down in here. I don't have really a, a big enough bolt, but yeah, you can see once you get once you get them off center, they start to get more centered on the nut. But I'm not going to talk about them a lot. I'm not going to talk about them a lot because I'm kind of disappointed in them. What I am going to talk about is is uh, the the entire lack of attention to detail when people think that these channel locks are the same as Doyle. Uh, first of all, USA Virgin Steel, glaring, glaring uh, difference in these. This is a this is an Asian Taiwan whatever steel as the Doyles here. Uh, a couple of things that you can look at right off the bat, and the, just the the naked eye can tell is that the handle sizes are significantly different. The channel lock is a lot wider and a lot more pronounced, but yet people, their knee-jerk reaction is, is, well, these are the same. They're not the same plier. Doyle tried to copy them, but just like people tried to copy my content, they failed. Uh, they failed and they misrepresented exactly what I was trying to say. Other things you can look at, the rivet on here is not the same. We can look on the back side here and see that this has a little bit of a different rivet than the channel lock. Another glaring difference, and I do mean glaring, 
is the jaw. The jaw differences here. You can see that the jaws are very different on the front side here than they are. And not only that, look at the doyle on how it doesn't fit true. Because you're not paying for good quality. <laughs> you know, you're not getting the quality that you are with a channel lock. Not only that, uh, we can look at the machining done is quite a bit different on the edges here. You can see that this is, has some, some machine edging still here, and this is fully uh, rounded. And, uh, yeah, just significant little nuances in these pliers. And not to mention the fact, why would you buy Doyle when they say big ass? On them, like, why would you say, why would you buy it, waste the money on Doyle? Now, I understand I did waste the money on Doyle, but you can see even in the jaws right here, there were some attempts at recreating them, but there's a little bit of different profile right there in the jaw. No, nonetheless, uh, and uh, like I said, the glaring differences you can tell right off the bat are the handles. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Let me see if I can get that in there. It's pretty obvious that this handle is different right here versus the Doyle. Not only that, I think there might even be just a smidge of a length difference. Let me get these things flushed out. Oh, yeah. The channel locks are just a smidge longer than the Doyles. Just a smidge longer. If, I, if I'm right here. Let me get these things lined up here. Because you got, you got to measure them out right. You got to be accurate when the trolls... Actually, let's see if we can just measure tip, tip to tail, 20, 20 and a quarter, tip to tail, uh, 20 and a half. So there's about a quarter inch difference on the uh, channel lock versus the Doyle. So once again, rebranding, repopping, uh, may look like a duck, walk like a duck, but there's some glaring differences that are not, in fact, not the same parts, not the same stool, steel. There's over 500 different kinds of metal. Metal compounds that are used to build tools, guys. So, uh, and you know, I, I've, now, I've not been around channel locks my whole entire life. In fact, these were pliers that I bought when I was a kid. And I've had my entire life. I know, I know, CP, you haven't, you haven't used channel locks. I'm 44 years old. When a 30 year old child tells me that I've not been around channel locks, it makes me giggle because these channel locks are well over 30 years old. They're actually almost, I, I got these when I was like six years old. Uh, these, t these channel locks are older than most people's YouTube, uh, YouTube personalities are. So anyways, uh, that's my little salty rant on the Doyle and the channel locks. But you know, as the title said, we're going to talk about SK. You know, the rise and decline, let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. The rise and decline of USA companies. But I found something interesting. So I got some new USA SK sockets because I had to, I had to take a look. And I've seen a couple other channels doing videos on these and talking about these. And talking about the uh, China SK sockets. Okay. Great Star bought SK. All of us know that. And if you don't know that, I'm sure somebody will say it in the comments, even though I just said it twice. <laughs> and I've done a video on it four times. Uh, you know, uh, but nonetheless, I have, this is a legitimate 20-year-old SK socket that I purchased. Uh, it wasn't given to me by my grandpa. Uh, I bought this when I first got into tech school. Uh, right here, you're going to see that this is made in China. Now, Great Star makes no mistake uh, that they say this is built in China. Heritage Ingenuity, they use the SK name. And a lot of you are probably going to be salty in the comments and be like, oh, SK really dropped the ball. Now, there's one thing that I did notice, and I will tell you, I'm kind of upset because I should have took a screenshot. But SK has updated their Amazon store. And on the Amazon store, they made a point to say consumer grade sockets which is what I purchased here. Then, and, and now they have since changed it, and I don't think I took a screenshot of it, but I do have some other screenshots I will put in this video as I'm talking about some things that I saw or noticed from SK. First of all, 
they call this the black label uh, because this is an SAE set. And then the green labels are the other ones. And let's we're going to take a look at these sockets side by side and see what the difference between the USA quarter inch half inch is and the new Great Star half inch is. I'm going to get that up close. But I want to say a, a first reaction at looking at these. The rail, these are $27. The rail... Uh, and the sockets themselves are better than most than icon sockets hands down These are better than icon sockets hands down. So uh, I think for the money you are getting a better value if you have to buy Harbor Freight uh, Why not have a, 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 a Long lifelong name in your toolbox and go that route to China. I you know, I, I'm not supporting China But hey, we're in a global market. I can't change the world Okay, and I don't think people are going to stop buying globally sourced tools because they don't care about anybody else's jobs and everybody's very selfish these days. Me personally, I can only do what I do and that's why I try to support USA Made. But this is good content to talk about because there's some interesting things here. And if you notice right off the bat, let me see if I can get this up here so that you can kind of see this. The SK new SK Great Star socket is a bit taller than the USA made. Okay, and we're gonna look at the differences of the chamfers and see, you know, what are we getting here? Is the broaching different? Uh, the socket themselves look like they're using the exact same die. Uh, as far as the metal com compound, you know, we'll see if the chrome vanadium holds up, but the recess in the socket looks identical. Very, uh, very, very spiffy looking socket, I will say. For a China made socket, I, I can't knock Great Star. I think Great Star, uh, and once again, I'm going to put a picture in there. They're repopping some wrenches. I have a sneaky suspicion, and I, I'm just putting this out there, but I have a sneaky suspicion that Great Star is planning to have USA branded tools still. Uh, from what I, what my research and what I see, and I will post the pictures in there on the internet of what I see, they're promoting USA on their website and on Amazon, and they're still promoting uh, these black and green label China-made sockets, which is kind of interesting. But I got to tell you, the rail is super nice. This aluminum rail and the, the positive click uh, on these, these sockets spin, but uh, <laughs> these are really nice rails for the money. Uh, a lot better than what they use, used to have. Uh, these aren't magnetic, which you could probably add some magnets in there. But... <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of impressed for a China-made socket, to be honest with you. And I'm very interested to see, because just out of curiosity, pure curiosity, is SK going to, in fact, still keep some USA-branded tools in the market? Are they going to continue to produce some USA? And I got to tell you, as far as, as Duratech goes, their own Duratech, their own WorkPro, uh, Great Star, they're a major player in the tool game, guys. Uh, it, I, I mean, if I was Harbor Freight, I would be scared. If I was Harbor Freight, I would be scared just for the simple fact is, is that Duratech, WorkPro, all of these are definitely up and coming tool companies that have really been hitting the streets hard. It, it may be a China company. And I'm, once again, like I said, uh, politics aside, we are a global society anymore. Believe it or not, we are a global society. People watch this video from all over the world. And that means if they can't source some USA-made tools, but they can source this stuff uh, in their country, they're, I'm helping them out. And I want you to understand that, that we have to be diverse, you know, and I have to be, I try to be as correct as possible, try to be diverse, I try to help everybody out, and that's my main goal, okay? I don't care, uh, the trolls and the haters and all that stuff, those guys are going to always be there because they're jealous. Because I care more about the people. I care more about you, and I appreciate you, the good subscriber that comes in and comments every week, day in, day out, is honest, hardworking, and just trying to find some the best bang for the buck. So anyways, guys, with that being said, that's the video. I'm going to wrap it up. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the SK stuff. Appreciate you always. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.